Hello. Hello, I'm Fenton Kenilworth, and you're here with us in Cleveland at the Antique Roadshow. And I'm sitting here with Connie Minskella, who's, who's brought in a wonderful piece for us. Connie, can you tell us how did you acquire this beautiful piece? Well, it's a flask that, yes, my, yes. that my grandmother gave to me. Well, look, look at that, look at that. Now, can you tell us how did she acquire this beautiful flask? Look at this. I don't actually really know. It was just something that was always in her bedroom at home. <laughs> I should say that there's, there's much more to this flask than, than only its beauty. Can we take a look at this? Do you see this hallmark here? Can we I see this mark? I don't know what that is. Do we see I this? I know what that meant. This, this, is the, this is a special hallmark that indicated that, that this flask was used to carry opium syrup. Yes. Yes. Oh, really? Yes, yes, yes. They're, they're becoming... Quite rare and, and rather collectible, yes, yes. I, I'm, I'm sure you didn't know that your grandmother was an opium junkie. Did you know? Excuse me? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, traditionally, these were carried by junkie whores who would get, get high and then orally service Chinese rail workers. And, and I do say Chinese rail workers because they couldn't afford the high-end whores and invariably would turn to such junkie whores uh, as your grandmother. As your grandmother say. Yes. Well, are you yes. actually saying that my nana is some kind of crack whore? Oh no 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 no, 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 an opium whore, opium whore. She was well, opium. I have you know that my nana was a very kind and generous woman. And uh, oh, I should say, Connie, that she's extremely generous. You see, if if this flask were put up for auction today, I could easily see it garnering over two thousand dollars. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. well, two oh, yes. thousand yes. dollars. Oh, gosh. Wasn't that just there? It wasn't the back of the closet. Yes, That's yes. true. So she was a heroin addict. Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> she was an, an mm -hmm. opium whore. Uh -huh. Opium whore. <laughs> opium whore. And I should say that if your grandmother has any more flasks like this in her possession, that she could easily retire from whoring. <laughs> 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 Oh, well, we'll be back shortly with another segment on the Antique Roadshow. Yeah. Yes. Hello, I'm Fenton Kenilworth, and welcome back to Cleveland and the Antique Roadshow. Yes. Yes, I'm sitting here with, with Miss Betsy Williams, who's, who's brought in a wonderful, wonderful piece for us. Now, tell us, Betsy, how did you acquire this exquisite dress? Okay, okay. it's an heirloom, and according to family history, my great-grandfather purchased it right after the Civil War. Well, I should say that you're quite lucky to, to inherit such a wonderful piece. Look at it, it's lovely. Look at this, Betsy, but do you have any idea what this is? Uh, no, I, I, I don't know. I just thought it was an old dress. No, no, Betsy. I want you to take a look at this label on the inside, see? This says Belmont Brothers, you see. And in the 19th century, the Belmont Brothers was a firm that was notorious for designing clothes exclusively for cross-dressers. Yes. <laughs> what are you saying, that my great-grandfather wore women's clothes? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Now, observe the shoulders, see? They're much, much too wide for a real woman, you see, but perfect for that of a man. See, your, your great-grandfather, you see, purchased this dress for himself, and I should say, he does have superb taste. <laughs> no, 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 my, my great-granddaddy wasn't a, a drag queen. Oh, no, 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 uh, Betsy, your great-grandfather was not a drag queen. Your, your great-grandfather was the first African-American drag performer in vaudeville. Yes, that's right. But around those parts, he was much better known by his stage name, which was Carol Ann. Oh, no, no, no. My great-grandfather's name wasn't Carol Ann. Oh, yes, yes. You see, back in those days, the African-American performers were not earning as much as the vaudevillian performers, so your grandfather, like many other African-American vaudevillians, used to make extra money by whoring, you see. Yes, he would, yes, he would orally service Chinese rail workers. Now, I say Chinese rail workers. No, no, no. They... Don't, don't, don't tell me that my great-grandfather was a whore. Oh, no. Well, I should say, I suppose you don't want me to tell you how much this dress is worth either. I don't care. I don't want it. You, you can have it. Well, thank you, Betsy. Because I should say that if you were to auction this dress today, you would easily fetch upwards of $12,000 for it. So thank you. $12,000? Yes. Well, 
Give me back my great granddaddy Carol Ann's dress. I mean, I was I was thinking about giving it to you, but I didn't say I was going to give it to you. Well, I should I should say, Betsy, whatever you do with that dress, don't loan it out to any cross-dressing vaudevillian horse. horse. You shall see it again. You won't see it ever again. No horse. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. yes. Well done, Fenton. We'll be back shortly with another segment of the Antique Rojo. <laughs> <laughs> this is Gertrude Wittenberg, who's brought with her a, a lovely, 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 lovely object. Look at this. This is, this is absolutely delicious, I should say, Gertrude. Now, do you know anything about the history of this piece? Well, I know that I've always treasured it. Yes. Uh, it was my grandmother's. Well, I should say that you should definitely treasure it, because in all my years of working with antiques, I've never seen one of these. You see, it's, it's you see, wonderful. this is... It's, it's a, a horse candelabra. Uh, my uh, granny, uh, she was a whoring granny. We called her Granny BJ. <laughs> she would do is she would orally service uh, uh, Chinese rail workers. <laughs> terrific. So, um, how much is it worth? Yes, it, well, you seem to have done your homework, don't you? Yes, you seem to know a lot about the whore's candelabra, yes, but what I bet you you didn't know is how it worked. You see, the whore would set it in her windowsill at night time, and if one, one candle... One candle was lit, that meant she was available. Yes. That's right. How much? It, it, yes, that, that's that's absolutely correct. But if if two candles if two candles yeah. were lit, that meant she was available and ready to orally service those Chinese rail workers. Yes. <laughs> so what are we talking? Yes, yes, you do know about two, but I, I bet you didn't know that if all three candles were lit, that if all three are lit, that means she is ready to go to service any rail worker, creed, nationality, flat on her back. <laughs> so how much is it worth? It's it's worth a lot. Let's see. Five hundred dollars. Much maybe? more than that. It's much more. Uh, $10,000. No, it's a, it's, a, it's a lot more. See, you know everything about the horse candelabra. Why don't you know the price? It's it, a lot more. Is it $50,000? No, it's much more. $100,000? It's $200,000 for the horse oh. candelabra. Since you did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad I had it cleaned. It was a mess. Uh, you, you had it cleaned? Oh, yeah, well, it was a mess. I had. I, I took the plating off and I replated it. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm so sorry you did that. No, 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 it was, it was awful. It was tarnished. Oh, uh, yes, 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 it was. And you see, the tarnish on the objet was the original patina. And without that, it, it severely reduces the value of the objet, you see, yes. Well, severely. I mean, what, is, it's only worth 100 grand now? <laughs> no, no, no. No, it's much less than that. 50 grand? Well, let me give you a hint. How much is something worth when you've completely destroyed the value of it? $672. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, $500. that's it for the Antique Roadshow. Two, Have a look out for us. We may be in your city next. $100. I'm Fenton Kenilworth. Son of a bitch, Good I'm night. talking to you. $100. <laughs>